Hi people, this is Gio of the Round Table, and today I'll be talking about Batman from 101 up to 117, which is uh, Fear State, and the, the writer, okay, I'm going to show you fast, fast, okay, starts with this one, cover, yeah, I got the nice cover over here, okay, there you go, and then it's mainly about this ugly bugger here, right here, the new version of the Scarecrow, and this, and the the, the writer is... James uh, Tynion, number the fourth, if I pronounce it right, but I doubt it. Then the artist, okay, these are the artists and colorists that I find the best of the whole series, okay? And there's George Jimenez, and the colorist is, uh, these people are trying to kill me over here, Tamnu Morel, Morel, M-O-R-E-E-Y, okay? And the whole story, this is what happens after the Joker War, okay? And it's kind of like nature, you know, example, or in history. The big clash of two empires or two big uh, armies and everything. And then there's a lot of people looking behind it. And they get involved once the big pieces all tumble down. So the Joker damaged the city and this and this and that. Then there's Mr. Mr. Saint, who was a company and everything. He tries to infiltrate with Scarecrow and to, to make something out of it to take over Gotham City. And I don't know why you want to go for Gotham City. And then there's Harkin Quinn, there's Ghostmaker, there's the, the Clown Hunter. Anyways, the whole thing, it's not bad. The whole thing, I'm certain point, the storyline is pretty good. I mean, basically about how the Scarecrow and Mr. Sa uh, Mr. Saint, how they want to take over with a strategy of money and power and how to get more power and everything. There's certain mistakes that the ankle and the no, like saying you know, the gorgeous woman with a fat ankle. That's what it is. It's like one of them is example. I have it here, and his name is Peacemaker, uh, Peacekeeper number one. Okay, that's him over here. Okay. Now all of a sudden, I don't know. Scarecrow has new eyes, his little long needles and everything. Now he's ripping the guy's face apart with his needle piercing. What did he come over in all of a sudden? You're telling me this guy has all his armor and everything and his helmet is made of uh, like cheap plastic or something? At least guy should have the helmet. You see a bit of crack as he maybe like a little piece broke, whatever, because he had a big fight wherever before that, Batman or whatever. And the guy goes, ah, goes, uh, goes, I hope you know uh, your needles won't penetrate because uh, my whole, most of my armor is bulletproof. The guy goes, and then the Scarecrow should say it easily. He shows his needle, look, I just have to pierce your skin. Through anywhere. And once I pierce once, you're mine. That's it. But they had to take the long version. This and this and that. Then, okay, Ghostmaker uh, is from the, from, the, from the other comic before this and all that. Like him. But at the same time, I love what, what, what was generally was about, about, about the past man, Batman's history, past, that they both had the same agenda, but in different ways of looking at it. I like him more. What his agenda is more than Batman than the, the uh, I don't want to kill this, this, this. Sometimes you have to fight, you gotta fight fire with fire, you know. And uh, three strikes you're out, that's it, enough. Don't go overboard. You have to look at the timing because I'm thinking my time. But the whole thing is now, of a sudden, they're starting to show his face, okay? Why, you know, at a certain point, you see him, example, uh, in here and here, he has his mask half full over here. You know, and you see his skin and everything. Now, this guy was such a genius. Why does he have like like a little like he like you know because he's doing jobs at the site sometimes saving people and everything. You see the scientist example. Okay, this is my version of it. And the scientist he creates like uh, chameleon camouflage devices. Okay, so the guy goes so the what's it called Ghostmaker says, look, well, what the guy goes, what's my payment? I want you to perfect this. This is not. And this thing's gonna happen, he, he put it inside his system, and when he touches it, his skin is, uh, it pumps DNA into his body, his skin and everything, when he has to, that if somebody cuts him, the blood will never be 100% like his blood DNA. It's altered every time. So you never know who the heck he is. His skin color or his texture of his skin changes. So you don't know who he is or what he is. The next phase of the future, because now with all this the 
DNA uh, testing and everything. You have a drop of blood, they'll find out who you are. Ask ancestors, ancestral.com. There you go. So you cannot play, oh, I'm going to reveal my skin. Oh, no, no, no. What, what's going to happen? No. You go into the future. You have to perfect the, few, the, the comic book since this guy's a new character, right? Perfect it. Bring it more into the future. I like it when he has the costume, he has full fledged and everything. But at the same time, when he's a normal person, he just touches that thing and then goes, and that's it. <clears throat> and point finale, he gets a point that he has to take care of. He's, he's uh, babysitting or whatever you want to prefer. Harkin Quinn, he, he kind, kind of likes her, whatever. And uh, the clown hunter. But the certain point, he brings Harkin Quinn to a secret base in Gotham right now, right? Ooh, it's so secret. That this girl, the woman, Gardner, which is with the poison ivy and everything, she finds it easily. She's already in the, she's in the, she's in his base. No alarm detector, no nothing. And, and he's not even like freaking out. That's the certain point to me is like, okay, now it's getting a little bit cartoonish. You know, like it, it was very good. But these are, these are my fat ankles inside the storyline, you know? So overall, hey, I'm trying to find a nice There's other things I could put in it, but I'm going not to. Because it's six minutes, I want to relax over there. So it's a good read, you know. So I'm trying to do that. I'm going certain because I have a lot of titles. I'm back like crazy, but I'm right. I'm gonna read some new ones, and the ones I want to catch up. And then who wants to hear it? Hear it? Who doesn't want to hear it? I don't blame you because I don't hear myself too. So that's it. Overall, it's a decent, very good read. Uh, I did, did enjoy. I did like do how the scare came. But here's the other thing. Ah, this this is the part I forgot. There was a part, yeah, I have it in here with the Batman and everything, okay? Here it is, okay? There's the other ankle I was telling you, I was looking at there. See over here? Now, in that mask with the cover, that's Batman, okay? And he has those things holding the eyelid from Clockwork Orange and all that. Now, I don't know about you. By that, like, Batman, I remember before, if you take out his mask, there's all these uh, self self destruct uh, things inside, you can't do this, can't do that. But now all of a sudden, I don't know about you. The Joker knew he's Bruce Wayne. Uh, Punchline thinks she, she knows. A couple of people who overheard it probably knows it. Uh, face uh, Scarecrow must know his face also. So to me, it's like, why is, he, why is Bruce Wayne not dead? I mean, he's supposed to be dead by now. I mean, you saw that information on, on the internet and everything. The money you'll be making, the killers will hunt him down, no problem. They know where he is, he is. You know, so to me, it's like you were like the story writers or the comic book company, whatever you want, or the editor, whatever. You're proud to make Joker and all these people know that he's Bruce Wayne. Good. Do something about it. No, now not they're playing the forget about the forget about God. Oh, yeah, but that was uh, uh, whatever. It's the that creative team did that, and uh, now. Uh, when I stop mentioning until you guys forget it. I don't forget. Because I find it so stupid sometimes. You know, like, same thing with Batman. Why? Can can you get that stupid gauge that I told you about, about, about the, the ghost maker? That his skin changes and his tone, whatever. When people get his blood, it's like, oh, this makes sense. Because why? Because his blood, this DNA, it's a, it's a guy who died this 20 years ago. And then another time you go, oh, it can't be. Because it's, it's a female's DNA. And it can't be. So automatically, Batman could be Batman and Bruce Wayne at the same time. But if he wants to reveal his skin and slash out his blood coming out when he's fighting with the Joker and everything, and you think people are not going to start taking his DNA, because people are taking out cameras, they have cameras, they're taking videos and pictures and everything, there's bound to be one person who goes, hey, ancestral.com or something like that, that can sell Batman's blood in the internet, make a fortune, because people can find out who the heck he is, give or take. You know, find his lineage of his tree and, and slack into the with a point. To a some point, point, since all these all these geniuses in the comic book that create robots and this and clones and everything, they can clone a Batman. There you go. So, anyways, yeah, I see, and I dragged into ten minutes because 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 the, the big ankle in there. So the whole point is, and now shoot, then there's another book in the Batman. The different creative team are in there, same writer. That Batman has the mask on. Now people say, oh, because uh, Batman. Um, because he's, he's, he's sitting on, 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 the, on all the drugs of the Scarecrow. Um, that's that's the one it is. But yeah, but Batman cannot see how he looks from the outside. I mean, he's not he's not the he's not doing a, he's going astral form and he's coming out of his body and he looks at himself. And goes, oh, I have my mask on. Ooh, how come here I have my mask on? Duh. Okay. 
So if you're going to make it perfect, my mother's going to make it perfect. You, know, you see yourself in the mirror saying, oh my God, whatever. So decide. So that's not what happens when you have too much different artists and everything. One draws one way and the other one draws completely the opposite. It's like, where's the communication? How can this, is this or that? Oh, it could be both. Why can No, 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 no. You guys are making the money. That's your job. Perfect it. That's it. It's not bad still. It's less comic book than comic book beat. And the, the, the artist and writer, that to me, they're the best t uh, duo of the, all the other artists in comic and our colors together. Anyways, that's it. So read, enjoy, and I'm out. And uh, come on, be. I want to see. I only see this. What's happening with me? You know, you know. Doom, doom. So you guys, geo out and um, talk to you guys and see you soon. Okay, bye bye, guys.